What's up everyone? This is Elijah with the Rideshare Guy, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to place an order using the DoorDash customer app, as well as the overall tutorial on how the customer app works. So when it comes to placing the order on DoorDash, it's important to know that they have two apps. One is the customer app and one is the driver app. So for this tutorial, you'll need to use the customer app since we're going to be ordering food. However, if you're interested in becoming a DoorDash driver, you want to check out our DoorDash driver tutorial where we show you what it is to deliver for DoorDash and we give a tutorial of the driver app. This video will focus on the customer app experience. So the first thing you'll want to do is actually uh, download the app and you can do this by clicking on the uh, link in the description below in the pinned comment or that's appearing on the screen right now. What this link does is it will take you to the spot to where you can download the DoorDash app. That'll be different based on if you have an Android or iPhone, so it gets you to the right spot based on your device. And using this link will also get you a discount on your food if this is your first time ordering with DoorDash. If this is your first encounter with DoorDash, you'll need to set an account up. So you'll need an email and then you'll need to create a password. You also need to input your phone number as this will be the main way that you'll be communicating with your Dasher, which is the person that will be picking up your food. So once you're signed into the DoorDash app, this will be the screen that you see. Well, screen will be different because you'll be seeing different types of food choices, but you get the gist. So before you start scouring the app with your food lust, you want to actually put your address in first. That way your door dasher knows where to bring the food. So at the top of the screen, you'll see a place where you can change your address if you already have one in there, or you can put in a new address. So you want to click on that icon where it says delivering to at the top of the screen. Once you get to this screen, you'll have the option to share your location meaning that uh, DoorDash will use the GPS and the phone to triangulate exactly what address you're at. But that may not always be 100% accurate. I personally always manually put the address in just to make sure because sometimes it may misinterpret my address for a neighbor's address, but it is an option. When putting in your address, one key thing to remember is you have two options for your DoorDasher. The first one is to have them hand the food to you, and the second option is to have them actually leave the food at your doorstep. It's up to you which one you choose, but this is the place where you're gonna pick that option. So if you ever wanna change it, you wanna make sure you come back to this place where you're changing your address to make that selection. In addition to that, this is also the place where you wanna put any instructions for your dasher. So if you have like a chair on the porch you want them to leave the food on, or you wanna give them uh, directions so they can get to you sooner, or maybe let's say a gate code if you live in an apartment, that way they don't have to call you for the gate code. This is the place we wanna put it. And as a dasher myself, I can honestly say we greatly appreciate it when you leave the gate code and your apartment number or any information you feel we need to get your food to you sooner because you get to chow down sooner, we can move on to our next order sooner and everyone's happy. Once you put the information in, just click save and we can move on to the next step. If at any point you want to have multiple addresses in the DoorDash app, you can always hit the plus icon in the top right hand corner and you can add as many addresses as you want. Just make sure that you select the right address before you actually place the order. Next, we'll go over some of the features that you'll see inside the app. When scaling through the app, you'll notice that there are a variety of choices for one thing, and they have different times of delivery as well as different fees. So we'll go into that a little right now. So let's say for instance, we're looking at Chick-fil-A, says 15 minutes, McDonald's 17 minutes, uh, Don Taco 41 minutes. These are different wait times because of two factors. One, how far the restaurant is from you, and two, how busy they are. If you click on one of the restaurants, it'll show a rating as well as how much it's going to cost. The rating is based on other customers rating their experience with the restaurant. So how tasty it was, you know, that good stuff. One thing to keep in mind when it comes to the delivery time is that's just an estimate. It's subject to change based on factors that are going on like bad weather, driver demand, uh, higher customer demand. So just use it as a guide, but just be aware that that time can change based on a few things. As you're going through the app, you can actually filter out certain restaurants based on the criteria. So let's say you want a food delivered to you and you want it to be under 30 minutes. You can select the under 30 minutes filter and it will block out all the restaurants that are over 30 minutes as far as timing. Same goes for rating as well as how much it's going to cost. And as you probably already noticed, you can also categorize it based on what type of food you like. So convenience, burgers, fast food, etc. Right now we're in the delivery section of the app, but you can also go to the pickup section, which is at the bottom of the screen. So click on pickup 
and it will ask if it can track your location if you haven't given it permission already. But it will show restaurants nearby to where you can place an order and actually go pick it up if that's what you want. But most people want the food brought to them, not the other way around. You can check out special offers that are going on at the moment by clicking on the offers tab at the bottom of the screen. These offers vary based on the time of year, the time of day, and what's going on. So it never hurts to check here before placing the order because you may find that a great offer is actually on the table. And if at any point you want to actually search a specific restaurant to see if it's on DoorDash nearby, you can click the search tab at the bottom of the screen. If at any point you want to see what orders you placed in the past, you can click the orders tab at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. So now that we've done an overall tutorial of the app, let's actually order some food. So I'm going to order some tofu rice from Osaki and I'm using the search ability right here. So Osaki is pulled up. I don't want to pick up, I want a delivery. So we're going to go to rice. Here it is, fried rice, tofu fried rice. Don't want none of that. Key thing to note is you see in the special instructions, you have the option to leave these for the restaurant. So if you wanted something exclusive, like let's say more sauce or more salt, whatever, you could put them in the special instructions here. In addition to these special instructions, you can also leave a recommendation as far as what step you want next. If they're out of a certain thing, like out of this item, let's say you really wanted a Sprite and they're out of Sprite, you can have it so the item is just gonna be refunded to you or you can add a certain replacement right here. You can select the option to go with the merchants like recommended replacement, or you can have them contact you. You can actually just have the order canceled if you want. Now, keep in mind there may be fees associated with that. Of course, for me, I don't want any of that, so I'm gonna go ahead and back out. No special instructions. I'm gonna click add to cart. Then I'm going to click on view cart. And if at any point you want to add more items in the middle of the view cart phase, you can. You just hit the add more items and add anything you want. For the moment, I don't want to add anything, so I'm going to go back. View cart. If you have a promo code, then this is the spot that you want to put it in where it says promo code. If this is your first order with DoorDash and you've uh, signed up with our link in the description, there will be a promo code that's automatically retro applied, so you'll get a discount. So let's briefly go over exactly what these fees are. So the subtotal is the total amount you're paying for your food. The fees and estimated tax, tax is pretty self-explanatory. As far as fees go, there's a service fee, which is about 13% of the order. Estimated tax, we cover that. And uh, if the order is small, they have what's known as a small order fee. But if my order was bigger, that would disappear. And finally, we have the delivery fee that's being charged for having the food delivered. I'm going to press continue. Once you're on this screen, this is basically DoorDash confirming that, hey, is all this information that you put in correct or do you need to change anything? So if you need to change the address or if you want to change the instructions for your delivery driver, this is the place to do it. The ETA section is telling DoorDash exactly when do you want this order to go out. So if you wanted to, you could actually schedule a delivery up to a week in advance. However, I'm scheduling it right now because my stomach doesn't feel like waiting. But if I did want to schedule a delivery, I could scroll down and schedule it in the future. The way that works is the order will automatically go out on the day and the time that you select as far as this particular restaurant that you want food from. Right below that order is a place where you can tip your Dasher. So you can tip in the uh, program ones, which is two, three, four dollars. But you can also add a custom tip by clicking on other. And then you can put whatever amount that you want in there. Tips go a long way to making sure dashers are taken care of so that they can continue delivering this delicious food towards you. And it's greatly appreciated. Below the tipping section is a place where you can put your payment information in. So whether it be a debit card, Google Pay, or PayPal, this is a place where you'll put that information in. Then you click on place order and the order has officially started. Once you're on this screen, you can keep track of your order by looking at the icons that represent what phase the order is in. There are four icons. The DoorDash icon is showing that DoorDash has received your order. The little building icon is the restaurant icon. That's showing that the restaurant has gotten the order and is actively preparing it. The car icon represents your dasher, and obviously the house icon represents your home. As the order process moves from one phase to the next phase, 
you'll be able to see the progress by looking at the line between the two phases. Another thing that DoorDash does is it will keep you posted on the estimated time of arrival. If at any point during the order you feel you need to contact your dasher for some reason, you can click the text or the call icon. However, I always say the call works better as a carrier because you don't know if they're driving, with the exception being maybe you forgot the gate code or information that they need to get to you. A quick text in that case is pretty efficient. If at any point you feel like you need help with your order for some reason, you can contact DoorDash by clicking the help icon in the top right hand of the screen. Once your food has been picked up by your carrier, then they'll start heading your way and you can see this through the app. After that happens, it's only a matter of time before the food has been dropped off and it'll be in your stomach. And as you can see on the screen, my tofu fried rice didn't really last that long, did it? I wonder where it went. Once you've officially taken care of your food, you'll want to rate your experience with DoorDash. One thing that's important to note is that there's two rating systems with DoorDash. There's rating the restaurant and there's rating the driver. So you want to make sure that you're rating each one of them appropriate. The rating system is based on a star system, one star being not good and on five stars being excellent. Keep in mind that with the Dasher's ratings, they get kicked off the platform if their rating drops below 4.2. So you'll wanna take that in consideration before rating them under five stars. Now that we've completed the process of ordering on DoorDash, let's go over how if you wanted to order the exact same thing again, you can do so in just a few steps. So you wanna click the orders button at the bottom right hand corner. Once you're here, you can scroll down to the bottom and just click reorder and then everything you put in that particular order is added to your cart, as long as the restaurant is open at that time. Now let's go over some important things to know as far as the DoorDash customer app. So you wanna click on the little head person icon in the top left hand corner, that goes to your account. And then if you wanna change anything with your profile, you wanna click profile, then you can change your name, you can change your phone number, you can also change your password if need be, as well as your email address. You can change your payment methods by clicking on payment methods. If at any point you wanna add more addresses or change them, you can do so by clicking on the addresses and updating the information. You can manage the notifications you'll get from the DoorDash app by clicking on notifications. If you're feeling very generous, you can actually buy someone a gift card that they can spend on DoorDash. Just click on gift cards, buy gift card, and you can send it to a person as long as you have their email address. If you're feeling generous and you wanna share the love, you can actually refer others to DoorDash and get some credit in your account that can go towards your own DoorDash purchases. You just click on the give and get, and you'll be given a, a referral link that you can use to share with others so you can get a discount and they can get a discount. And if you need any more support, you can click on the support tab or click on the frequently asked questions tab in the DoorDash app as you see. And there we have it. Not only do you know how to place an order with DoorDash, but you've also been given a tutorial on the DoorDash customer app in general. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. We publish new videos every single week, so be sure to subscribe if you're new. And hit that bell icon so you can be notified when we drop another video. And if you're interested in being a DoorDash driver, you want to definitely check out our DoorDash driver tutorial. That does it for this video. I will catch you on the next one. Be safe and profitable, everyone, and enjoy your meals with DoorDash.